Bubble gum, a simple pleasure enjoyed by both kids and adults, has an interesting origin story that dates back to the early 20th century. It was accidentally invented by Walter Diemer, an accountant at a gum company who was experimenting with new gum recipes. The result was a unique, chewable product that could be blown into bubbles, setting it apart from traditional chewing gum. Over the years, bubble gum has become a global favorite, found in countless flavors and colors. So, how do they do it? Long before bubblegum became the colorful, poppable treat we know today, people around the world were finding natural substances to chew on for various reasons. Ancient Greeks preferred the resin from the mastic tree, while in the Americas, the Mayans and Aztecs chewed chicle from the sapodilla tree. These natural gums were used often for practical benefits like cleaning teeth and freshening breath. In the mid-1800s, John Curtis saw potential in spruce gum, leading to the first manufactured chewing gum in sticks. But the real game-changer came when Thomas Adams experimented with chicle, transforming it from a supposed rubber substitute to a chewable delight. Adams' invention paved the way for the modern chewing gum industry, allowing for mass production and widespread distribution. By the early 20th century, flavors like mint and fruit were introduced, making chewing gum more popular and appealing to the broader audience. However, bubble gum wasn't born until Walter Diemer, an accountant of all people, tinkered with gum recipes at the Fleer Chewing Gum Company. His accidental invention was chewable and could also be blown into bubbles. And the iconic pink color was simply because pink was the only dye available at the time. This quirky twist of fate gave bubblegum its distinctive look and helped make chewing gum a global phenomenon. How exactly is bubblegum made, though? Bubblegum starts with a base. Back in the day, this base came from the natural stuff like tree sap, called chicle. But as bubblegum became super popular, there just wasn't enough chicle to go around. So, inventors got creative and whipped up a synthetic or man-made base to keep those bubbles coming without the worry of running out. Now, what makes bubblegum taste so good? That's where the sweet stuff comes in. We're talking sugar, corn syrup, and even some no-calorie sweeteners like xylitol to keep things light. Flavorings are also added to give bubblegum the burst of fruity, minty, or even cinnamony goodness. And you know how bubblegum has those bright, fun colors? That's due to colorings added to the mix. Plus, to make sure your gum stays soft and chewy, softeners like glycerin are tossed into the bowl. All of these ingredients come together in a complicated yet interesting process. First up, sweet stuff like sugar and flavorings are combined in a giant mixer. A giant sticky dough is made. Next, it's time to shape this gooey mixture. The gum gets flattened into thin sheets or squeezed into cool shapes by machines. They sprinkle powdered sugar on it, just like dusting flour on a rolling pin, to keep it from sticking everywhere. After shaping, the gum needs to chill out, literally. It goes through a cooling tunnel to get just the right chewiness. Finally, the gum gets dressed up with a shiny coat of sugar or some polish to make it look irresistible. Quality control is super important. Experts check the size, flavor, and color to make sure everything's just right. Once the bubble gum passes its final checks, it gets all wrapped up and ready for the big show. It's put in neat packages and heads to the stores, waiting for you to pick it up and start chewing. And that's the journey from a bunch of ingredients to the bubble gum in your pocket. When it comes to making bubble gum, some factories are like mini cities dedicated just to gum. They churn out millions of pieces every day, sending them all over the world. These days, gum isn't just for blowing bubbles or freshening your breath anymore. There's gum for just about everyone, from sugar-free options for the health conscious to special types that won't stick to dentures. The gum world is full of surprises. So, the next time you unwrap a piece of bubble gum, think about the incredible journey it's been on to reach you, ready to add a little pop of fun to your day. Bubble gum might just seem like a fun treat, but it's really a fascinating mix of science, history, and a dash of accidental genius. From ancient natural chews to the bright pink bubbles we love today, bubblegum has popped its way into our lives, bringing a little bit of joy with every chew. Another product behind which there's a world of innovation is canola oil. Click here to find out more about how canola oil is made.